our friend Mutaz got a hold of uh, PSN, an SG1100 box, uh, but it, this works uh, with a virtual one as well. And he wanted to set this up to have access to his home network, which is 172.16.60, all the dot .60 network. And he wanted to have access to his uh, printers, servers, etc. Not only on these, but also on the OPT networks, where he has his Q radar, his big, his big Q radar server, and it's 172.16.70.0 is the network where that one is, right? And what he wants to do is when he is away, say that he's in a hotel, and he wants to connect to his network at home, he can do this securely. Only he can do this with his own certificate and all the traffic is encrypted. Uh, if he browse the internet, he's using his uh, Quad9 DNS and there's another video that show how you set your PSNs for that. So whenever he's searching the, the hotel, it goes to his uh, home network uses his secure uh, Quad9 server and gets out and the people in the hotel, nobody can intercept and see what he's doing. Let me show you how easy it is to set that up. So first thing, you need to copy this, put this into the clipboard, the, the, the name of this machine, in this particular case I'm using a virtual one, is VPFSense local domain, but it, whatever it is in your system. You first go into the certificates area. If you don't have a CA certificate created, I can tell you it's uh, that easy of putting the name that you want to give it in here, specify the state, city, click save, that's it, nothing else. So that certificate is there. When you go here into certificates, you only have the default web configurator. This is the certificate we are using to access the interface of PSNs right now. So you need to add two certificates. Let's first add the client certificate. So this is going to be open VPN. Actually, let me type this the way it is all together. Open VPN client cert. This is the one that's going to be used uh, at the client side. That's the CA by default, the only one that we have. And in here we need to paste that domain. And we need to paste it here under, under the fully qualified name. And make sure that when you go here, that you select in this particular case, because this is the client cert, you use a user certificate. You click save, you're done. Let's add the server certificate for the VPN. Open VPN server. So open VPN server cert. And as before, you put the fully qualified name in there. Click save. You're done. Now let's go and create the open VPN server instance. And let's actually use the wizard and you see why it's a lot easier. That's the only option that you have, the local user access, which is what we want. We use the CA, the only one that we have. We need to specify here the server certificate, right? Because we are creating the server instance of it. So we select that one. Uh, here we are going to select only TCP. Let's say that we want only secure traffic. We're going to do only TCP on IPv4. I don't think that we need to select any... C well, uh, of course. What network are we uh, accessing? Let's say that we're using the LAN network. So we put 172.16.60.0 slash 24. If you want a, a soft set of this, then you can reduce the see that range for the set that you want. But you're going to be using a tunnel network. These are going to be the IP addresses that the people at the other end from the Windows machine or the Linux or Unix, whatever you use as a client to access those uh, servers at home are going to be using. 
So it's anything that you are not using right now. So let me use 172.16.80.0 slash 24. I mean, it doesn't have to be this, can be anything. The important thing is that you are not using that one in here. We are not going to use any compression. We are not limiting the concurrent session. You can allow communication between multiple clients. We only have one here. So I'm, again, I'm not going to go into all these variations that uh, PSNs offers in for sake of speed. This is what I like to use the wizard because we want it to create the rules uh, in the firewall rules and the open VPN rule for us to work. In fact, if we go here on the firewall, on the rules, we see that open VPN wizard. That's the rule it was just created on that particular port. And if we go on the open VPN, that's the one that was created by the wizard, right? Let's actually go back in here and review some parameters. First of all, in here, server mode, you cannot leave this because we are not using password. User ID and password, just the certificate alone is good enough. So you need to select this SSL TLS. If you don't do this, you're going to have a mismatch on the certificates and the certificates will not show up when you are downloading the client. Uh, that will leave the same and we're going to change just two options in here. We're going to be doing only IPv4 and the verbosity for the logs is the recommended level 3. We're done with the creation of the VPN server. Now we need to prepare the package that will create an executable that will auto install everything we need in whatever client we are using. And to do that, we install a package. So we go to package manager on available packages. We're going to search for open VPN. That's the one we want. We're going to click install, confirm. This is going to be done very quickly. And success. Now that we've done that here on the VPN, we have an option, which is client export. If we click that and we scroll down, we'll see this beautiful area here. For example, if we are using a Windows 7, all we need to do is click here to download that file. And that is going to be an executable. You take that to the Windows 7 or 8 or 8.1 or, uh, or Server 2012 R2 and just execute it. Follow the step, take all the defaults. And when that finishes, you can right click on an icon that is the open VPN and click connect. It may do auto connect automatically when it comes up and believe it or not, you're going to get an IP address of the 172.60.80 or whatever. And that connects you to all your resources in your network at home. If, let's say that you also want to connect to the OPT network, but all you need to do is go to that VPN, VPN server cert, uh, server and go here and under the network specify like I did here put comma and put the other CDR range and then you are connected to both network it is that easy and that's it's secure it's a secure way of accessing your resources at home when you are away. And this is what it's also done on the corporation. So now you know how VPNs are set. I mean, the GUIs will be different depending on the technology, but the technology, the principle, the standards are the same.